Okay then, so for today's video we're going to be taking a look at finding the area of a circle. It's another one of our important formulas to learn. In our last video we actually went through the circumference of a circle. So if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link for it in the description and also a card in the top corner. So for our first question we've got find the area of a circle. It then asks us to give our answer in terms of pi. So when we're looking for the area of a circle, we've got our formula which is area is pi r squared. So pi times r squared. So when we've got a question like this, all we need to do is substitute in our value of r. So for this example, our radius is 7 centimetres, so we'd simply substitute that in for r. So we've got pi multiplied by 7 squared. Well, we know that 7 squared is 49, so this is the same as pi multiplied by 49, which we can then just simply write as 49 pi. So that would be the answer for the area of this question. So we've got 49 pi, but then we've got to make sure we're using the correct units. So if the radius was 7 centimetres, that means the area is going to be in centimetres squared. So the final answer to this question would be 49 pi centimetres squared. OK, we're going to do the same for this question. We need to find the area of the circle, again, given our answer in terms of pi. So we've got our formula that area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. But this question's a little different. This time we don't have the radius. We're given that the diameter of the circle is 24. So if the diameter is 24, we need to find the radius. So all we have to do to do that is divide the diameter by 2. So if we do 24 divided by 2, we've got the radius is therefore 12. So now we can substitute this back in. We've got the area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared, so that would be 12 squared. Simplifying further, we know that 12 squared is 144, so that's pi multiplied by 144, which then we can just turn that round and simply write it as 144 pi. So for our final answer, the area would be 144 pi. We've got to remember to use the correct units. So if our radius was in centimetres, our area would be in centimetres squared. And that would be the answer to that one. OK, for our next question, we've got to find the area of the circle again, but this time we're given our answer to two decimal places. So we're going to write our formula down first. Area is equal to pi times r squared. And in this example here, we've got our radius of 12 and a half metres. So substituting in our area would be pi multiplied by 12.5 squared. So if we type that into the calculator, pi multiplied by 12.5 squared, we get 490.8738 and a few extra. That's enough to round it though, so we need to round to two decimal places, so our area would be 490.8 and then the 7 would stay as a 7. So for our final answer, we've got 490.87. And then looking at the units, the radius was in metres, meaning our area is going to be in metres squared. So that would be our answer for that one. OK, for the next question, we're finding the area again. Again, to two decimal places. So again, first thing we do is we write our formula down for our area. And then we're going to substitute in. But we know to use the formula we need the radius, but we're actually given the diameter. We know that the diameter of this circle is 32.8, so we need the radius. So to find that, all we have to do is divide the diameter by 2, which gives us 16.4. So now that we've got the part that we need, we can substitute back into our formula. We know that the area is going to be equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. We know the radius is 16.4. So that'll be pi times 16.4 squared. If we type that into the calculator, we get 844.9627 and a few extra. That's enough to round. So to two decimal places, this would simply be 844.9 and the 6 would remain as a 6. So for our final answer, we've got 844.96. Now we need the correct units. Because the radius was in centimetres, the area would therefore be in centimetres squared. OK, for our next question, we've got the area of the circle is 900 centimetres squared. We've got to find the length of the radius, giving our answer to two decimal places. So for a question like this, we're going to use the formula again, but we're kind of using it back to front. 
we know just like with all the other questions we've done before that the area is equal to pi multiplied by r squared. So in the other questions we've substituted in a value for r and we've been able to find what the area is. Now in this question we're given what the area is and we want to find what the radius is. So to find the area of this circle I'd have to do pi multiplied by the radius squared and that would give me the area but because I'm told the area is 900 I can put that this is equal to 900. So now all we're going to do is rearrange our equation. I've got pi multiplied by r squared so I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide this side by pi which means I'm also going to divide this side by pi. So because I've divided the left hand side by pi I've now just got r squared and then on this side now I've simply got 900 and I'm going to divide that by pi. So that would give me a value for r squared. Now I need to find what r is. So to get from r squared to r we've simply just got to do the square roots. Again to keep things equivalent because I've square rooted the left hand side I've also got to square root the right hand side. So the radius would actually be the square root of this 900 divided by pi. The beauty is we can do that all on the calculator in one go. If we do the square root of 900 divided by pi, we should get the radius equal to 16.9256. And a few extra, that's enough to round. So the radius to two decimal places would be 16.9, and the two would round up to a three. So our final answer for the radius would be 16.93. And now we've got to look at our area. Our area was in centimetres squared, which means the length dimension is going to be centimetres. So our radius of this circle would be 16.93 centimetres. And for our final question, we've got the area of this circle is 370 metres squared. This time we need to find the length of the diameter, giving our answer to two decimal places. So again, just like the previous question, we've got to do this question back to front. We've got to use our formula, which we know that the area of our circle is just pi multiplied by the radius squared. So if we know that pi multiplied by the radius squared gives us the area, but we're told that the area is 370, we know that these two things are equal. So pi times r squared is actually equal to 370. So just like the previous questions, I'm going to rearrange. So because I've got pi times the radius squared, I'm going to divide this side by pi. But to keep things equivalent, I also need to divide this side by pi. So we've now got that the radius squared will be equal to 370 divided by pi. And then we've got the radius squared. We just want the radius. So we've got to do the square root of this side, which means we're also going to do the square root of this side. So the square root of r squared is just r. So we've got the radius would be equal to and I need to square root this right hand side, so I can just do the square root of 370 divided by pi. So we can do that in one go on the calculator. If we do the square root of 370 divided by pi, we get that the radius is equal to 10.8524, and a few extra. But that's the radius, we actually want the diameter. So with the number we've got on our calculator, all we're going to do now is just times this by 2. So if I double this, I get the diameter. So that would give me 21.7048 and a few extra. And that's enough to round. So the diameter to two decimal places is simply going to be 21.7 and the zero will stay as a zero. So our final answer to this question, the diameter is 21.70. If the area was in metres squared, that means that our length dimension is going to be in metres. So well done if you followed along with those, and that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are at all any topics that you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to make some videos on those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.